Will the House please come to order? Will the members of staff and guests please rise and direct your attention to the dais where Father Colasso will lead us in prayer? Let us pray. Almighty Father, bless us this beautiful spring day as we come together to handle the business of the state. Be with us in our deliberations. Amen. Thank you, Father. Uh, would Representative Nafis please come to the dais and lead us in the Pledge of Allegiance. Is there any business on the clerk's desk? Uh, Mr. Speaker, there's a list of favorable reports on House bills and House joint resolutions to be tabled for the calendar and printing. Rep Representative Donovan. Uh, good afternoon, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, I move that we waive the reading of the list of the uh, House favorable reports and the, and the bills and resolutions and be tabled for the calendar and printing. Is there objection? Is there objection? Being none, so water. Any announcements or introductions? Announcements or introductions? Representative Karen. Uh, thank you, Mr. Speaker, uh, for a point of an introduction, except my uh, introductees were, uh, have just left the, uh, the, the gallery. The, the fourth grade from the Plainfield Memorial School was here to visit the Capitol today. Looks like they had a great time, and I'm sorry we missed them. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. <laughs> Thank you, Representative. Any other announcements or introductions? Tell me he's got a press. Any other announcements or introductions? Representative McCrory. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Uh, Mr. Speaker, today we have in the well a young man, stand up, you guys, by the name of ASAT Swap. He's here today with his uncle, who's been a guiding light in his life since he was a child, excuse Mr. Me, Clark excuse King. Me, excuse me, Representative. I would just ask the Chamber's indulgence just for a second, please. Thank you. Clark, sir. Representative, proceed, sir. He's also here today with his high school football coach, Mr. Robert Fleeton, and also the superintendent of schools, Mr. Robert Henry. Colleagues, today is one of the most proudest moments in my years as an educator in the city of Hartford because I have the opportunity to pre present to you all and to the state of Connecticut one of Hartford's shining stars. As mentioned, his name is Asat Squat. I had the pleasure of educating this young man when he was a middle school student at Fox Middle School in the Benjamin Mays Institute. He symbolizes what the characteristics of a student athlete ought to be. He's a role model, an outstanding citizen. He's respected by his peers and adults. He's a leader, but more, more importantly, he's very humble. He's a shining example of what young men can do in our communities when they put their mind and their heart and their courage together. He has been guided by positive role models in his life and he's just returned from Washington, D.C. with a close-up foundation studying how government works in our nation's capital. He just came back last night, so I know he's tired. <laughs> Mr. Swap has been a recipient of many awards, and I'll read a few to, him, to you. 
He's been selected all conference in all state 2004. He is the Connecticut Scholar Athlete of the Year for 2004. He has been named the National High School Hall of Fame Scholar for 2004. And he also is the recipient of a Connecticut's Gatorade Player of the Year, which is awarded to one football player in the state of Connecticut for his excellence. Off the field, Mr. Swap has won the Martin Luther King Jr. Award for leadership. He's presently in the top 5% of his class at Weaver High School. He has been a role, high honor role model student for four consecutive years. But more importantly, this past football season, ACS Swap was awarded an academic and athletic scholarship to the University of Notre Dame. He is the first. <laughs> he is the first scholar athlete in the past 56 years to have been awarded a scholarship to the University of Notre Dame from the city of Hartford. We are pleased with Mr. Swap's accomplishment, but more importantly, we're going to be more pleased when he comes back to Hartford after he graduates from Notre Dame, if he's not fortunate enough to go on to the professional football league, which that's a possibility also. He'll come back and serve his community. He'll be a role model for others that come along. He is our shining example. We are proud of him, and we're here to present him a citation. And it reads, Ah, be quiet. General, General Assembly official citation. Be it here known to all, the Connecticut House of Representatives hereby offers its sincere congratulations to ASAT SWAP in recognition of his acceptance to the University of Notre Dame on a full athletic scholarship, the first student to accomplish such a task from the city of Hartford in 56 years and as Gatorade Football Player of the Year in the state of Connecticut. His achievements on the field were in the classroom as an honor student staying as a role model for future youth. The entire membership extends its very best wishes on this memorial occasion and expresses the hope for continued success. Given this day, April 11, 2005, at the state of Capitol, Hartford, Connecticut, by Mr. Speaker, Jim Amon, Secretary of State, Susan Bicewich. Thank you very much. Swap, I want to uh, first of all uh, welcome you to this uh, historic chamber and want you to understand what Mr. McCorry uh, and I'm sure your uncle and the other mentors you have around you, what this means to us, uh, you being a Connecticut native. It's so important. Uh, I know it. Uh, doesn't seem that long ago to, uh, when we were your age, or I was your age, but uh, what you've done for your community and what you are going to accomplish in your life means a lot. And uh, you don't know how many kids are going to look up to you and watch you and follow you, not only your family, but your friends uh, and people that don't know you. So, uh, Anne, I'm so happy. One thing, the best thing that was out of us, you chose to go to Notre Dame. Uh, I'm a big Notre Dame fan, and I'm hoping I'm going to watch your name so I can say, hey, I knew that kid when. We're very proud to have you. And again, uh, 
I would ask uh, your uncle and Mr. McCorry, if you wouldn't mind standing up here, your principal, come on up here. I'd love to take a photo with you myself, only so someday you can autograph it for me. Well, thank you, uh, Chamber, for allowing me to do that. Uh, are there any other announcements and introductions? Uh, Representative uh, Higgs uh, Sawyer. Good morning, Mr. Speaker. This morning, I'd like to introduce a very special little girl in my life. This is my niece, Katie. She is in fifth grade in Rhode Island, and she's come over today to, to spend the day here in the chamber. One of the things that she told me was that she wanted to be a president, as a matter of fact, the president of the United States at some point. So we, I made sure that one of the first things we did this morning was introduce her to Representative Williams to show her how young you have to be to get started to do this. So thank you very much, and I'm sure she's going to enjoy the day with us. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Thank you so much for joining us today. We're so happy to have you uh, with us. Okay, good to see you. Um, why don't you bring up, uh, Kenny, bring him over here again, please. Bring up Mr. McCory. You want, bring up, you want Mr. McCory to come up also? Mr. McCory? A representative uh, Vicki Nardello. Someone else wants to. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Um, I've had the privilege of working with Hartford students for the past 19 years in the health area. And in doing that, I've also observed them educationally. And often when we come here to this General Assembly, we hear about Hartford's failures and the urban failures. But here what you see is one of the successes. And believe me, there are many more successes in the Hartford school system that we do not give credit for. So I am so pleased to be able to honor you today. You are a role model. There are many other young men that you are going to be able to shape by what you're doing today. And so I'm glad to be able to see again Harford's successes and maybe that'll help us lessen the other end of it. So thank you for all that you've done and what you've shown the kids of Hartford today. Thank you, Representative Nardello. So true. Any announcements or introductions? Announcements or introductions? Oh, I get to see the wall. Representative Hewitt. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I rise for a point of personal privilege, please. You may proceed, sir. I would like to congratulate the New London High School boys basketball team for winning the back-to-back -back State Division II championship against Newington, Connecticut. Now, whoever the representative for that Newington is. <laughs> Sorry about that. New <laughs> Newington, Connecticut. The team is coached by uh, Mr. Craig Parker, and more importantly than all the championships they've won, the four seniors on the team will be attending various colleges in the fall. To me, that's the real victory. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Thank you, sir. Any other announcements or introductions? <laughs> announcements or introductions? I just have one thing to say before we get business going. Um, I, got, I guess I must apologize to a few of my colleagues here today, but I want to be quite frank with you uh, that I know it's a, it's a holiday. Now, we might not know it's really a holiday, but in fact it is. It's the opening day at Fenway Park. And my own, now, wait a minute, don't get too excited. Being a Yankee fan, I usually don't announce that, but since they're playing the Yankees, it is a true holiday. And many of my colleagues, including the your speaker wanted to go to this game tonight. Uh, so for anybody that had plans tonight or had uh, tickets already bought, hopefully you got your money back. Um, if you didn't, shame on you. Uh, but again, to anybody that did have plans this evening, uh, UConn, uh, this was their schedule today. It was the only day they could come see us uh, was today. And I knew that that's been such a nice tradition for us. We didn't want to miss that. Uh, so uh, many apologies uh, to any members that wanted to go to the Yankee and uh, Boston game this evening. And with that, Mr. Clerk, would you please call calendar number 95. State of Connecticut House of Representatives calendar for Monday, April 11, 2005 on page 2. Calendar 95. 
House Resolution Number 18, Resolution confirming the nomination of Joseph S. Elder Esquire of, Hart of West Hartford to be a member of the Bro Board of Pardons and Paroles, favorable report of the House Committee on Executive and Legislative Nominations. Representative McCluskey. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, I move for the acceptance of the House Committee's favorable report and adoption of the resolution. The question. Question of the Chamber is on acceptance of the committee's favorable report and adoption resolution. Will you mark, sir? Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, Mr. Elder is from West Hartford and holds a Juris Doctorate from the University of Connecticut. He holds a Bachelor's of Arts from Oberlin College. He's been admitted to the uh, Connecticut Bar Association and the U.S. District Court, District of Columbia. Currently, he's in private practice in the law office of Joseph S. Elder. He has served in the Attorney General's Office and in the Department of Consumer Protection. And since 1989 to present, he has been a, a hearing officer for the State Department of Education. His public service includes being involved with the Archdiocese of Hartford Office of Urban Affairs and the Hartford Police Athletic League. Ur urge a favorable report on this resolution. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Uh, thank you, sir. Would you mark further? Will you mark further on the resolution before us? Oh, Representative Farr. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I, too, uh, rise to uh, support uh, the appointment of uh, confirmation of Mr. Elder. Uh, it is a terribly important position. We oftentimes think of uh, pardons and parole as, as just another one of those boards and commissions, but they do make the decisions as to whether or not individuals are going to be uh, in the community or, or uh, incarcerated. And they have to weigh the fine balance between rehabilitation, reduction of recidivism, and protection of the community. And I think uh, Mr. Elders has some excellent uh, experience and background on that, his involvement with the Hartford Police Athletic League, and the fact that uh, he is an attorney and uh, also a hearing officer gives him the ability to weigh all of the factors and understand that balance that he's going to have to make. So uh, I support his uh, confirmation. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Will you mark further? Will you mark further on the resolution before us? If not, let me try your minds. All those in favor of the resolution, please signify by saying aye. aye. All opposed, nay. Ayes have it. Resolution adopted. Clerk, please call calendar 96. Hey there. Joe. 96. What, what, what's this one here? Oh, say, I see. Good. On page 3, calendar 96, House Resolution, no House Resolution number 19. Resolution confirming the nomination of Carl D. Eisenman, Esquire of Simsbury, to be a member of the Board of Pardons and Paroles, favorable report of the House Committee on Executive and Legislative Nominations. Rep Representative Graziani. Good afternoon, Mr. Speaker. Good to see you, sir. Same here. I move acceptance of the House Committee's favorable joint report and adoption of the resolution. The question for the Chamber's acceptance of the Committee's favorable report and adoption of the resolution, will you mark, sir? Yes, thank you, Mr. Speaker. I'd like to bring in the name of Mr. Carl Eisenman. Carl is a graduate of Fairfield Prep. He's Georgetown University and graduated the Georgetown Law Center. He was admitted to the Board of Bar of the Districts of Columbia and the United States Court of Appeals. Currently, he serves as a member of the Board of Pardons, and he has been doing that since the year 2000. He's a member and former chairman of the Simsbury uh, Police Commission. He's a member of the Simsbury Charter Revision Committee and serves as a justice of the peace. In his previous public service, Mr. Speaker, it includes serving as assistant attorney general, executive director of the state labor department, and assistant public defender for the judicial district of Litchfield. I urge a favorable report on his nomination, Mr. Speaker. You mark further. We mark further on the resolution before us. Representative Hagney. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, it's my great pleasure to stand uh, and encourage this great body to support the nomination of Carl Eisenman to the Board of Pardons and Paroles. It's been my great pleasure to know Carl Eisenman for over 15 years. And as you just heard, his resume, his background, his job experience is overwhelming. This is a man who believes in public service, a man who 
likes to serve his state, his community, at every possible level. He's a very thoughtful man, a man who's been an attorney general, he's been a public defender, he served in the Labor Department. He brings a great wealth of experience, personal integrity, and, and a great work ethic to what he does. And is with great pleasure then, Mr. Speaker, I encourage this body to support Mr. Eisenman. Thank you. Well, thank you, sir. Will you mark further? Will you mark further on the resolution before us? If not, let me try your minds. All those in favor of resolution, please signify by saying aye. aye. All against nay. Ayes have it. Resolution adopted. Mr. Clerk, please read calendar 97. Please call, I'm sorry. On page three, calendar 97, House Resolution number 20. Resolution confirming the nomination of Jackie Pullen Daniels of New Haven to be a member of the Board of Pardons and Paroles. Favorable report of the House Committee on Executive and Legislative Nominations. Representative Graziani. Thank you again, Mr. Speaker. I move acceptance of the House Committee's favorable report in adoption of the resolution. The question for the Chamber is acceptance of the Committee's favorable report and adoption of the resolution. Will you mark, sir? Yes, thank you again, Mr. Speaker. M Mrs. Poland Daniels is from New Haven. She has a bachelor's degree from Central Connecticut University. She has pursued graduate work at Connecticut State University and Yale. She is part of a dynasty of public servants and community activists. She is well known in the community. She and her work are well respected everywhere. Some of her accomplishments are, she's the longest serving member of the parole board, a community organizer, a social worker, and teacher. She is certainly a role model for her community and for all of us. It is an honor to bring her name before you today. I urge a favorable vote on this resolution. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Thank you, sir. Will you mark further? Will you mark further on the resolution before us? Will you mark further? If not, let me try your minds. Uh, all those in favor, please signify for the resolution. Please signify by saying aye. aye. All against nay. Ayes have it. Resolution adopted. Clerk, please call calendar 111. On page three, calendar 111, House Resolution number 21. Resolution confirming the nomination of Gregory R. Everett of Waterbury to be a member and chairperson of the Board of Pardons and Paroles. Favorable report of the House Committee on Executive and Legislative Nominations. Thanks, Representative Janowski. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Good afternoon on this Good wonderful sunny spring day. Thank you for, um, uh, for uh, delivering that to me today. It was very enjoyable. I thought you would enjoy those pictures. Thank you. Thank you. Um, I move acceptance of the House Committee's favorable report and adoption of the resolution. Question for the Chamber of Acceptance of the Committee's favorable report, adoption of the resolution. Will you mark? Uh, thank you, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Everett is from Waterbury. He received a master's from Central Connecticut State University, a bachelor's from the University of New Haven, and an associate's degree from Mantuck Community College. He is an adjunct professor at Central Connecticut State University, teaching courses in correctional theory, practice corrections, and community corrections. He's also a member of the Association of Paroling Authorities International and American Probation and Parole Association. He currently serves as chairman of the Connecticut Board of Pardons and Paroles since June 2004 teacher's aide for so socially maladjusted youth at Wilson Alternative School. And his experience includes parole supervisor for the state of Connecticut, parole officer in the state of Connecticut, correctional counselor for the state of Connecticut Department of Correction, corrections officer for the state of Connecticut, and residential monitor for NOW Incorporated Alternative to Incarceration Center. Uh, during the questioning at our public hearing, Mr. Everett provided valuable information to the committee demonstrating the benefits of his experience and in-depth knowledge of the par pardons and parole process. His testimony was personally um, given me a greater appreciation of the mammoth responsibility 
the board has, and I urge adoption of the resolution. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I know, Ken. Will you remark? We mark for the front of the resolution before us. Will you mark? Representative D'Amelio. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Good afternoon to you. I also rise uh, in favor of uh, the nomination of Gregory Everett. As was just mentioned, he has an extensive background on the Board of Paroles. He has served our, our state well in the past, and I'm sure he'll continue to do so in the future. And with that, Mr. Speaker, I, I, I ask the Chamber to uh, endorse him. Thank you. You're welcome, sir. Thank you. Will you mark further? Will you mark further on the resolution before? Representative Beeman. Good afternoon, and thank you, Mr. Speaker. I, too, would like to associate myself with the remarks of the previous speakers on uh, Mr. Everett. He's uh, eminently qualified and has served our state well, and I know he will be serving our state in a greater capacity uh, with this uh, uh, appointment as well. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Thank you, sir. We mark further. We mark further on the resolution before us. If not, let me try your minds. All in favor of the resolution? Please signify by saying aye. All opposed, nay. Res Ayes have it. And the resolution adopted. Clerk, please call calendar 112. On page three, calendar 112, House Resolution number 22. Resolution confirming the nomination of Robert F. Parisi of Wallingford to be a member of the Board of Pardons and Paroles. Favorable report of the House Committee on Executive and Legislative Nominations. Thank you. Question before the Chamber's Seventh Committee's favorable report and adoption resolution. Will you remark? Thank oh. you, Mr. Speaker. I move acceptance of the. Oh, I'm sorry. Sorry, Madam. I thought you already did that. I, was, I apologize. Representative Fritz. I want to compliment you also, Mr. Speaker, on getting us on time for a change. It's wonderful. Um, Thank I move you, acceptance Madam. of the House Committee's favorable report and adoption of the resolution. It's only because my, uh, my staff has put my clock ahead one hour, so I actually, I haven't realized I've been starting on time, but uh, <laughs> I see a question from the Chamber's Acceptance Committee's favorable report and um, adoption of the resolution. Will you mark? Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Parisi is from the town of Wallingford. He, grew, he has spent all his life in Wallingford. He has been a tremendous public servant. He has... Um, served on the Wallingford Town Council um, in a period of over 29 years. He served eight consecutive years as its chairman. Um, he has been a mentor to many, many people who have entered politics in the town of Wallingford. Um, he also is a lector at Holy Trinity Church. He is uh, a veteran of the Korean War. He is honest. He is forthright. He, no matter if you're not going to like the answer, he's still going to tell you what he thinks anyway. He presently serves as a town councilman, and I, he's a recipient of the Wallingford Republican Town Committee Man of the Century Award. And as recently as March 19th, he received the Italian American of the Year Award from the Elks. Um, Mr. Speaker, I move adoption. Thank you very much, Madam. Will you mark further on the adoption for us? <clears throat> mark further on the resolution before us. Representative Adenolfi. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Uh, Mary did an excellent job on Bob's uh, biography over there, so I won't repeat it. But uh, I've known uh, Robert Parisi for many, many, many years. He's a good public servant, very active in the local community. He's also a fellow veteran from the Korean era. And uh, I urge adoption of the resolution also. Thank you. You mark further? You mark further on the resolution before us. Representative Mashinsky. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. In a bipartisan manner, I too like, would uh, like to recommend the nomination of Robert Parisi. His entire life has been spent in public service, and he's done a distinguished job for the town. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Madam. Would you care to remark further? Representative Ward. Th thank you, Mr. Speaker. I also rise to support the nomination of Robert Parisi. I've known Bob for probably 25, 27 years now. And as Representative Mashinsky just indicated, he's been truly a dedicated citizen for the town of Wallingford um, for longer than I have known him. 
um, when you look at his resume, you see not only the political involvement, which is how I first knew him, um, frankly, a, a Larry Denardis campaign for Congress. Um, he's one of those, of all of us involved in politics, he's one of those town committee members that works tirelessly for whoever the party nominates. Um, one of those people that just gets there and works because he believes in trying to make our government better. But if you look at his resume, it involves activities in every other spectrum of civic activity within the town of Wallingford, whether that's uh, a youth activity, a senior activity, and everything in between. Um, he is what we mean by a public servant, and I urge the members to join in confirming his nomination of the board's Board of Pardons and Paroles, where I know he will do an excellent job. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Thank you, sir. You mark further. You mark further on the resolution before us. If not, let me, excuse me, if not, let me try your minds. All in favor? Please sit by, by saying aye. aye. All opposed, nay. Ayes have it. Res resolution is adopted. Uh, clerk, please call calendar 113. On page 4, calendar 113, House Resolution number 23. Resolution confirming the nomination of Cicero B. Booker Jr. of Waterbury to be a member of the Board of Pardons and Paroles favorable report of the House Committee on Executive and Legislative Nominations. Representative Janowski. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I move acceptance of the House Committee's favorable report and adoption of the resolution. The question before the Chamber is acceptance of the Committee's favorable report and adoption of the resolution. Will you mark? Further? Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Uh, Mr. Booker is from Waterbury. He received an associate degree in political science and administration from Amatita Community College. He also attended Western Connecticut State University. He currently serves as a member of the Board of Pardons and Paroles, member of the Board of Directors for the Connecticut Civil Liberties Union, member of the Waterbury Branch Board of Directors of the NAACP, and he previously has served as United States Marine Corps, in the United States Marine Corps from 1955 to 1958. Also as a police lieutenant with the Waterbury Police Department for over 33 years. He is the proud recipient of the uh, General Assembly official citation in the area of civil rights. And he is also a recipient of the Pearl Street Community Center's Martin Luther King Civil Rights Award. I uh, encourage a favorable vote on the resolution. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Thank you uh, very much, Madam. Would you care to remark further? Representative D'Amelio, sorry. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Eamon. Mr. Eamon, I also, uh, s excuse Mr. Speaker, I also rise in uh, favor of the resolution. I've known Cicero uh, Booker for a, a very long time. He is a very civil-minded individual. He, um, he participated in many events in the city of Waterbury. He's currently on the board of aldermen. Um, he's a former police officer with the city. Uh, I can't think of anybody better to serve on the board of uh, paroles, and I urge everyone to adopt this resolution. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, sir. We mark further. Representative Beeman. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Once again, I rise to associate my remarks with the previous speakers. Cicero Booker Jr. is a uh, icon in our community. And uh, he also has worked very, very hard to uh, empower young people to uh, move forward in their life. And we would hope that uh, this uh, resolution on this reappointment would go through uh, very clean and clear. Thank you, uh, Mr. Speaker. Thank you, sir. Would you care to remark further? Would you care to remark further on the resolution before us? Representative Lewis. Representative Lewis. Would you care to remark further? That's <laughs> everybody sure now. If not, let me try your minds. All the Fed resolution, please signify by saying aye. Aye. Uh, Nays. All opposed say nay, please. These ayes have it. The resolution is adopted. Clerk, please call calendar 115. On page four, calendar 115, House Resolution number 25, 
Resolution confirming the nomination of Robert W. Neal of Bolton to be a member of the Board of Pardons and Paroles. Favorable report of the House Committee on Executive and Legislative Nominations. Representative Lewis, now I know why you pushed your Now I'm ready. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Yes. I move acceptance of the House Committee favorable report and adoption of the resolution. The question for the Chamber is on steps of the Committee's favorable report uh, and adoption of the resolution. Will you remark? Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I'm pleased to support the nomination of Mr. Robert Neal. Mr. Neal is from Bolton. He received an associate degree in business administration from Morris Business College. He completed courses at the Connecticut Chiefs of Police Academy, the Advanced Crime Prevention Training Program, and the State's Attorney's Law Enforcement Training Program. Currently, he serves as a member of the board for the State of Co Connecticut Board of Parole as a customer services representative of ProTech Services and as a member of the Board of Selectmen for the Town of Bolton. Previously, he served as a detective and as a crime prevention officer for the Vernon Police Department from 1964 to 1993. He's a consumer representative also previously for the Collision World Auto Body Car Star and served previously as a member of both the Bol Bolton Boosters Club and the Bolton Atla Athletic Study Committee. I urge a favorable report on the resolution. Thank you very much, Madam. Will you mark further? Representative Sawyer. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Bob Neal has a very long history in Bolton of something that was not mentioned, and that is as a distinguished member of the Lions Club. He has worked many, many years in aiding those who do not have glasses, who do not have the ability to be able to help themselves in town. He is a very popular man in town. But he, I also know, Mr. Speaker, that he is a very serious member on the board of pardon and paroles and has been honored to be named to this new board. With his almost 30 years in law enforcement, he comes at it from a different perspective. He's very conscientious when it comes at looking at each and every person that comes, a client that comes before him to decide whether or not they are ready to go out into the community. So I think he's an excellent choice and I'd like to thank the chamber for their indulgence. Thank you, Madam. We mark for the Representative Williams. Representative Williams. Representative Williams. You're not? That's not what it says. I apologize, my... Mr. Speaker. That was an accident. Okay. Your, uh, your apology is well accepted, sir. <laughs> Will you remark further? If not, let me try your minds. All those in favor of the resolution, please say away by saying aye. All opposed, nay. Ayes have it. Resolution adopted. And I think you can kill your ears down there, huh? <laughs> Clerk, please call calendar 142. On page four, calendar 142, House Resolution number 26, resolution confirming the nomination of Louise M. Bailey of West Hartford to be a member of the Board of Trustees for the University of Connecticut. Favorable report of the House Committee on Executive and Legislative Nominations. Representative Janowski. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I move acceptance of the House Committee's favorable report and adoption of the resolution. Question for the Chamber's acceptance of the committee's favorable report and adoption resolution. Will you remark? Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Louise Bailey is from West Hartford. She has a bachelor's degree from Marymount College. She also attended Boston University School of Law and Central Connecticut State University. She is currently on the Executive Council of AARP, member of the Connecticut Law Enforcement Foundation, corporator of Hartford Hospital, member of the Mark Twain Auxiliary, member of the Opera Auxiliary, member of the Institute of Living Auxiliary, and her experience includes teaching in the Hartford School System, past chairwoman of the Mark Twain Holiday House Tour, director of government affairs for the Masonic Home and Hospital, Hartford Ballet past president, recipient of the Year of the Woman Medal from UConn, and recipient of the Alumni Service Award from UConn, uh, which is a true testament of her extraordinary commitment 
because she's not even a Yukon alumni. Uh, Ms. Bailey has been a member of the Yukon Board of Trustees since 1970. She lives her life as a living example of extraordinary public service, and I am honored to bring her name before you today, and I urge support of the resolution. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Thank you, Madam. Will you mark further on, will you mark further on the resolution before us? Representative Farr. Thank you, Thank you Mr. Speaker. Uh, I, too, rise in support of the resolution. Uh, Louise uh, Bailey is, uh, is obviously a very distinguished member of the West Hartford community. She ha her sister was uh, Barbara Canelli, uh, a congressman from the 1st Congressional District. Understand her dad was also in politics. Uh, the, uh, and I would say she's, from what I gather, she's sort of become the Doc Gunther of the Yukon Board of Trustees. She's now got 35 years of service on that board, which is rather extraordinary. I think she's done an outstanding job, and uh, I strongly support her renomination. Thank you. Okay. Will you mark further? Mark further on the resolution before us. If not, let me try your minds. All in favor, please signify by saying aye. All opposed, nay. Ayes have it. Resolution is adopted. Ms. Clerk, please call calendar number 142. Uh, hold on. Excuse me, 143. On page 4, calendar 143, House Joint Resolution number 129. Resolution confirming the nomination of Michael J. Jarjura of Waterbury to be a member of the Connecticut Resources Recovery Authority Board of Directors. Favorable report of the Committee on Executive and Legislative Nominations. Representative Janowski. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I move acceptance of the Joint Committee's favorable report and adoption of the resolution. Question for the Chamber is on acceptance of the Committee's favorable report and adoption of the resolution. Will you remark? Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Uh, Michael Gerger is from Waterbury, and I'm very pleased to bring his nomination before the Chamber today. He has a bachelor's degree in management from Post College in Waterbury, a Juris Doctor from the University of Bridgeport School of Law and was graduated magna cum laude in the top 5% of his class in both schools. He currently serves as the mayor of Waterbury, where he was elected in 2001, and is director and vice president of J.P. Jajura and Sons, a well-established fruit and produce market and Connecticut food distributor. Many of us know uh, Michael Jajura from his service as a state representative for Waterbury's 74th district, where he was elected in 1992. He was House Chairman of the Insurance and Real Estate Committee. He also served on the Judiciary and Finance Committee and is the past chairman of the Program Review and Investigations Committee. During his tenure as state representative, he also served as chairman and, me and um, member of numerous legislative task forces and commissions. His public service includes six years as Assistant Attorney General for Connecticut, where he served from 1987 to 1993. And his community service includes membership on the Board of Directors of the East End Community Club, Western Connecticut Area Aging Agency on Aging, the Exchange Club of Waterbury, and Waterbury Crime Stoppers. Again, I am honored to bring the name of Michael Gergera, uh, one of our own, for reappointment before you today and urge a uh, favorable vote on the resolution. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Thank you, Madam. Would you care to remark further? Would you care to remark further on the resolution for us? Representative Beeman. Uh, thank you, Mr. Speaker. Uh, I rise again to associate my remarks with uh, the general lady who uh, has brought this resolution. As we all know, it's good to have one of our own to nominate, but I do believe that uh, uh, our mayor, Michael Joseph Jarjur, will do a fine job on the newly structured CRRA board. We appreciate uh, the diligence that he will bring to the deliberations and his common sense. So uh, I stand today very proudly to support uh, the resolution. Thank you, sir. We mark further. Representative D'Amelio. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. It seems like today is Waterbury Day here at the Capitol, but I also uh, rise in uh, support of the resolution.